On Monday, Apple launched its Apple Card Savings account with a 4.15% annual percentage yield. It requires no minimum deposit or balance, Apple said, and users can set up an account from the Wallet app on their iPhones. But I think the bigger news is that on Tuesday, Apple is opening its first store in India. We know that Apple has been moving some of its supply chain to India. India is home to over a billion people. It has the largest rising middle class in the world. And this is really huge for the next leg up in Apple. So at present time, Apple products sell through Apple premium reseller stores such as Reliance Digital, Chroma, and multi-brand retail stores and through e-commerce platforms in India. However, starting Tuesday, at least in one store, customers will now be able to experience the entire ecosystem of Apple products, accessories, and customization options under one roof. Now, you won't see the news reflected in the stock price at this time, but you will see it over time. But where can the stock head next? Well, we see that we had a monthly buyer zone at 127, which hit back in January, and we have a monthly seller's zone at 178. So what are the big boys doing? They're looking for liquidity, and that liquidity is further up from current price at 164. Now if we go to the weekly chart, we can see that price is currently respecting an uptrend line which started at the monthly buyer zone again at 127 typically you want to go with the trend so if we go to the daily chart we can see we had a nice daily buyer zone signified by the gap up at 160 now can this zone hold that's going to depend on where price is relative to the uptrend line if price pulls back again I anticipate that price will eventually get to the monthly area as that is the next level for the big guys to add to their positions or sell their positions thanks for watching subscribe please like the video